Now at six, unusual dog bite. A three-year-old's left with 30-plus stitches after the family dog attacked her face. Good evening. I'm Heather Herring. And I'm Mark Mellinger. We learned about this vicious dog attack via our Report It feature. Now what's unusual about it is the severity of the girl's injuries and the dog's breed. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has our top story tonight. So, Megan, does the family know what actually set the dog off? Mark and Heather, the young girl's mother tells me the family knows the dog's territorial. It was also abused by its previous owners. I got her on the lip. It cut from the top of her lip all the way to her chin, and it cut all the way through. A day plus 30 stitches later, three-year-old Mylan is recovering well. She was attacked by her grandmother's dog yesterday after she dropped her sunglasses. She dropped them, and they went, when she went to pick them up, he, he got startled and attacked her. This small dog named Benji attacked Mylan. Although he's not an aggressive breed, the girl's mother says he is territorial. He went at her. He didn't jump. He was just in the corner. He just stood up and like went full, like full force at her and attacked her. And she hasn't even parted with these glasses <laughs> since it happened. The Syracuse Police Department went to the grandmother's home in Syracuse where Mylan was bit. Tony Cirillo is the police chief. He says he hasn't seen a dog bite this bad since he's been on the force. The majority of our dog bites barely even break the skin if they do at all. Uh, we, we probably do 10 or 15 dog bite reports a year, not a tremendous amount. Chief Cirillo says the family told one of his officers the dog had been abused by its previous owners. It was also on new medicine to help with anger issues and hyperness. It's just something that probably was unexpected to this family that would actually go this far. But yet, at the same time, the family knew the history of the dog, so I think a little more vigilance might have prevented this from being as bad as it was. Benji was taken by police from his owner. He's in quarantine for 10 days. And Mylan's mother told me today they're thinking about having Benji euthanized. But Chief Cirillo told me that if the owner is okay with it, they could put him into a good home where they could work on his behavior. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Megan.